Okay, well what we can do now is solve the uh, weights puzzle, right? Because we've got all the weights. And do 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 using our fancy chart. Oh, huh. Just a second. Let me think. Well, in junior mode, they tell you how much each thing weighs. That's what I wanted to check. Okay. But in senior mode, apparently they don't. Okay, well, I've got a solution written out that I solved. Uh, so let's, let's hope it's right. Um, okay, so this is the weight of 3. And I put that with the weight of 37. And the weight of 60 to make 100. As for the next scale, I do uh, 47 and 8, which is this one, and 45, 45, which is that one. So if I'm right, these last three must equal 100 as well. Hey, I'm right! Oh cool, it's the missing piece of that sliding puzzle! And speaking of puzzles, there's a puzzle I missed earlier. It's this one here in the corner. Okay, so the goal of this puzzle is to get all the rings from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. But the, pro the problem is you can't put a smaller disc and then put a larger disc on top of it. Probably shouldn't put a large disc on top of a small one. See? So the trick to the puzzle is you're going to have to build a little. If you want to move a disc somewhere, you're going to have to build a mini pyramid of all the smaller discs on the peg that you're not going to put the larger disc. Let me explain. Say I want to get disc number three over here. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to move disc two and one out of the way to get to disc number three. But I can't move disc number three anywhere because, see, you can't put a larger disc on top of a smaller disc. That means I'm actually going to have to make a little pyramid of disc two and one onto the peg that I'm not going to put disc number three on. See? That's what happens. So I want to move disc number four here. I'm going to have to make a little, I'm going to move disc number four to the middle peg. I have to make a mini I have to make a pyramid of disc three, two, and one on the peg I'm not moving peg number not moving disc number four to. There we go. And now I'm gonna move disc number five to this spot, which means I'm gonna have to make a pyramid of disc four, three, two, and one on the peg where I'm not moving disc number five. You see? rather quite simple once you get the general idea, but it, it does involve a lot of shift, shuffling around. So now I'm going to move the mini pyramid to this spot, which is going to require me to shuffle around quite a bit, because moving, here we go. Do da do da 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 Okay, so that means I can move to six here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is build up a pyramid here in the uh middle block. I do and of course in order to build up the pyramid that means I'm gonna have to move disc five. Hmm. I'm gonna have to start a mini pyramid here. Yes. Okay. You do it like so. to my little pyramid here in the middle. Oh, I meant to do 
that. Do -do -do -do. It's not really a tough puzzle, it's just kind of long. That's that's the main problem with it. Okay, so that pyramid I've got in the middle is shaping up to be quite a pyramid. <laughs> okay. Alright, now that I've got a little pyramid of rings 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. In the middle, I can move disc 7 to its spot. And now I'm just going to have to try to shuffle everything onto the uh, right hand side now. Actually, I think I might have messed up there. I didn't. I want to move disc number four there. Which means I'm going to have to build a little mini pyramid. Do, 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 do. Actually, hold on a second. Put number three there, right? And I can make a little pyramid of number four, three, two, and one right here in the middle. And with the four, three, two, and one pyramid in the middle, I can move number five over to the right. So I make a 3, 2, and 1 pyramid over here on the left to move number 4 to the right. Obviously, number 3 is there. Then I move number 2, and number 1. 